Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to look at human activity detection on images and videos using TensorFlow and Python. We will be using a simple baseline object detection model that can detect basic human activities like sitting, standing, walking, running, etc. on individual frames. It is a faster RCNN model with ResNet 101 backbone pre-trained on the Google AVA Actions dataset which contains bounding box annotations for 60 basic human activities. The entire list of actions covered can be found on the labels file. You can download the files for this video using the link in the description. Now let's take a look at the detect activity image script. We are starting off by importing the necessary packages. Mainly we will be using TensorFlow, NumPy and OpenCV. You can install these packages using the requirements.txt file given. The model is trained using TensorFlow v1 which is an older version of TensorFlow. So we are disabling the v2 behavior temporarily in this script to use v1 functionalities. In the next line we are checking if GPU is available on the system. Faster RCNN with ResNet 101 backbone is a heavy model. Though it can run on CPU, it is recommended to use GPU for faster processing. Next, we are specifying the path to the model file and the input image. We are using imread function from OpenCV to load the image. Now let's open up labels.txt file and read all the activities the model is trained to detect. tf.g file method can be used to load the frozen graph. Let's get all the input and output tensor names to pass it to the TensorFlow session. We can pass the tensor dictionary and the expanded input image to the session to detect the activities on the input image and get the bounding box coordinates. Once the inference is completed, we can access the output dictionary to get the details like number of detections, class names, bounding box coordinates and confidence scores. Let's loop through the detections one by one and draw bounding box on the input image for the detected activities. Bounding box coordinates from the model will have normalized values. We need to scale it back to the input image by multiplying the original width and height. Note that we are filtering out the detections whose confidence scores are below the threshold value of 0.5. Finally, we are displaying the output image and saving it to disk. Let's try running the script with a sample input image. We can see that the model has detected the activity of the people in the image. For video, the process is same. We just loop through the frames one by one from the video and run the model on it. We will be passing the output frames to the OpenCV video writer to save it as a video. Let's try running the script with a sample input video. We can see that the script is processing the frames one by one and applying activity detection. Let's take a look at the output video. The bounding box is flickering between stand and walk. The main reason is it is just an object detection model looking at one single frame at a time. It does not have the memory of what was happening in previous frames. Though it might be okay for simple use cases, processing a number of frames together will provide better context to the model and dramatically improve the accuracy of the predictions. There are newer architectures like 3D CNN which process a number of frames together to give out the predictions. We will look at them in a future video. A few things to keep in mind while using this faster RCNN model are It is a simple baseline object detection model which is looking at one single frame at a time. The model is not perfect and it still makes mistakes. 
It is a compute intensive model. For example, for an image of 1280 by 720 size, it takes around 3.5 seconds for the inference on Intel Core i5 CPU, whereas it takes only around 110 millisecond on NVIDIA T4 GPU. Human activity detection is an active area of research and we have only scratched the surface in this video to be honest. Stay tuned for more videos in this topic. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.